I was reviewing the one from the other day too, and that was helping me just make observations. It's just no even, hater though. Even observing how I talk, because I feel like such. This I'm glad that wasn't on, because I was on the phone with video for a bit. Would that? Would you feel weird if that was captured? What if things were to go south and I were to revisit it? Yeah. It would be. Um, I'm the kind of guy that would. Strange that I'm accounting for. <laughs> I would like secretly. Upset, erase that upset. to help you out I'm like that kind uh, of person like I don't want to yeah I, I, trigger but, people <laughs> I hate I, using that word but yeah I, actually I, I would probably not want that I want to face the realities yeah. too yeah so I still have pictures of my phone of me and my ex and stuff like that oh, yeah. I, I just consciously know better than to hmm. look, that, look through them which is what you're going to do right now <laughs> no no I wish I could see a uh, video had let me know that she but she let me know she arrived home. Uh, there's a new video by Dave Superpowers. Oh, the brainwashing one? Mm-hmm. Ah, that wasn't so good. I, I like when he sticks to the MBTI instead of trying to do self-help. Brainwashing! Okay, <laughs> no. I'll, I'll find a, a Dave Superpowers thing to show you. Actually, I'll just go on objective personality. No, wait, it doesn't play. Damn it, that's right. Everything on here sucks. Wait, I'll just use my phone. I have my phone here. Are you looking for a video? I'll just, I'm already signed into the account. <sighs> we need to really think about video people. That's what I was looking to. Is there any way we can? Like, get the input or help of video even from afar? I was thinking about that also. Because she doesn't need to be in the, the room with us. And if we could figure I, out how to uh, collaborate with yeah. long distance, that would open up our potential and possibilities quite a lot. Very much so. I think the podcasting would be... You brought it. The um, We could have her even featured in like an interview or something. Cool. That would be really, really interesting. Or maybe she can like help us out to get the reach, <laughs> you know? Like, plug... Not in that. I don't know. Well, if that's she knows a lot of people. She knows a lot of people in India, and that's that is networking is kind of her strong suit. Let me crack that open real quick. I have no idea what you're pointing at. <laughs> oh, I'm pointing at this. Okay. I'm just thinking something's about to get cracked. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> is everything in there? Okay, look. I have no idea. Once upon a time I was in an anime and then I realized, alright, this isn't what I'm into anymore. Or, or it's not helping you towards your yeah, goal or what you see yourself. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's the underlying factor is so my I guess it's like Like what, what you gravitate what towards. My, yeah, what my um underlying reasoning is or it's like it goes it has back to, to benefit existential. your ideal future self in some regard. It goes back to the existentialism. It's like, what do I prize? What do I choose to? Do I give ultimate value to? Um, and I mean, we seem to have a same sort of criteria. I think it could be traced back to the words identity and legacy. And yeah. I think everything that is desirous to us can somehow. That sounds like. Yeah. How is she? Uh, well, right now she has like strep throat or something. I'm supposed to go play D and D with some nerds tomorrow, but uh, some nerds. Yeah. Did you um? But did I'm you not end up going near that. A, did you end up getting a chance to play with them that last time? Um, we played other things instead. I would have preferred to get right into D and D, but I didn't want to like uh, yeah. try to steer it. I'm the yeah. guest. What did you play instead? We played uh, Settlers of Catan. Mm. Very nerdy, but cool. I liked it. I won first round 
the plane. Oh, for women. And then there was um, exploding kittens or something like that. A weird. I played that before. You did? Yeah, I won that no, too. What I played was Munchkin. Mm. It was like D and D like D and D with cards, and you draw the cards, and that's how your character. That sounds like Magic together. It kind of is. It's yeah. kind of like its own parody of it. Okay. It's um. Oh, yeah, so it's, it's like fun. satirical in some regard. A little bit, yeah. I'm like, like the events, the little things that can happen, get crushed by Boulder. You hear any noise? No clipping, really. That I don't know. That's why. Could it be from your speaker? And the speaker went. It could be. I mean, there's still a. Yeah, but I'm wondering why it's making that pattern. I don't hear it anymore. Well, I do. Sounds like water. It's not that. Okay, it just might be interfering with something. Like maybe some of this. So much technology. Clash. There's so many different colored yeah. lights on your mouse. Oh, yeah. It's. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, gaming. Kyle's not spending the night. Room is all yours. Mm. Sweet deal. Dad just messaged me. Oh, after prom or what, what was it? A dance? Yeah, his girlfriend goes to an all women's college nearby. Oh. And um, it's like an honor to have. She seemed cute. Yeah, she is cute. She's bubbly. I always feel so awkward. Did I tell you about that? Mm -hmm. Just the but, difference uh, of interests and whatnot? Oh, it seems like she kind of. because she's nice. She's just a nice girl. That's her identity. But she, um. Yeah. She's like, oh yeah. And then I can see her expression like wash away. Mm -hmm. And then she'll just, <laughs> she'll just go elsewhere. And I'm like, all right, yeah. That Is good. that the post that you like before? This one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Any comments? I saw it on my feed. It's a Yamaha TRBX 505. This is my dream base. I like the white. But I don't want it in white. What do you want it in? <laughs> matte black or matte brown. Uh, Yamaha. It has amazing. Um, really? A Yamaha bass is your dream? BX. Uh, My first bass was Yamaha, but I feel like Yamaha has an instrument company that's kind of BX good. 505. Uh, in, in the price range. Okay. So that's, um, that's what I probably should have said. Oh. My dream bass. I gotta show you that. The base I have over there is like my ideal. I can see why the yeah. Ibanez, Ibanez makes even the, incredible. The, the finish. The only thing about like, it, the, that base that wouldn't appeal to me is the cutaway and the... Um, what do you mean by that, the shape of it? Yeah, the cutaway is a little bit too edgy. Oh. Yeah, a little and, too BC um, rich for you. <laughs> yeah, and um, it was funny because my first, my first, my second electric, the first one I brought with my own money was a Warlock. Nice. Um, Uncle, that man. is gorgeous to me. It's the same instrument, but it's uh, matte black and and that really accentuates the curve more because of the yeah. color. Very very cool. That's the one that he was looking at. What's the cost? Um, it's like uh, I think five four, four five fifty, but mm -hmm. I could find it for like four forty four four ninety nine. Nice. Um, but <laughs> if I were to tour, and this is very BC rich as hell. Um, Oh, like if you're playing shows, but you want to be seen with? Yeah. These things are super, they're futuristic sci-fi looking as shit. Oh, wait, what's, what's it called? What's the company? Dingwall. Okay, they're that's relatively not new. Um, if this ever loads, it would be the best thing ever. I like, um, is it Ovation yeah. or what? No, I don't know. Ovation makes uh, acoustics. Okay, so well, they have the, the applause. Companies? It makes the really nice art series stuff. It's like these really nice acoustics that indie kids love. Um, they're very artistic. It's not ovation, I guess, but it's. it's I know there is. Like that. The, the Ibanez has an artisan series. I know it's pretty popular. It isn't like a normal. It isn't, it isn't one of the mainline companies. It's what kind of characteristics does it? Any of these? This is the other one in particular. Looks really, really cool. That you know, looks like banana shaded. They have it in a uh, shoe. Neon yellow. I get the gist from this one. That's ridiculous. It's so flashy. Installing device driver software. That's why I had to reset it. Restart. Oh, okay. The yeah, they have the NG3 combustion. They produce them in Ferrari colors. 
<laughs> Ridiculous. Is that what you're just calling them? No, it's actually what they call it. Really? Ferrari Yellow Beast Duck. That is weird. <clears throat> um, PRS does something similar. Mm. I think it's uh, Never their latest uh, series, the John Mayer one. It's, it's hilarious. It's getting a lot of uproar because it, it's, for all intents and purposes, a Stratocaster. The entire build is a Stratocaster. The only difference What's is that it has bird inlays and has a PRS headstock. That's the only difference. And it's John Mayer's signature series. And he said, uh, because this model came out in 2018, I want to make sure that the colors are relevant. And like Fender chose convertibles, uh, like colors back in the 50s, like Leo Fender, that was his design. I'm going to choose Tesla, Tesla uh, vehicles and whatever, you know, popular colors they have. Mm -hmm. Their reds are the reds that I'm going to in my guitar. Those instruments are extremely expensive. They're like twelve thousand dollars starting out. Oh jeez, it's not even worth it. It's not. You buy it because John Mayer was playing it. Anything this week. Thousands kind of superfluous. It's just for it the, really the is. And um, yeah, I can never justify playing any more than probably eight hundred dollars for a yeah. guitar. In fact, this was nine hundred or a thousand in my base, but that's, that's okay. the top. Of it. it was also limited edition, so yeah. that's, that's a different story. Yeah, it's six string though, and that's interesting. And fretless, to me. yeah. And fretless. The fretless was the limited edition element because they do have those in. In fret, like fretted. I can see that, but I find it strange. Six string to me on bass is almost like. Tech death. Tech death is hell. Yeah, that's what I. That's what got me into it. Okay. Because they have that like six or seven string fretless. Sense. I but, loved that. But sound it would so be. Much. I would think that'd be the instrument that you would spend. 40 hours of week playing. Me? Me or just, personally? No, not you personally per se, but that's that's how that instrument seems like it was designed to be employed. In what sense? Like just fun? Um, fun or touring? Like heavy yeah. touring. Mm -hmm. Heavy touring, heavy uh, studio, heavy. Like you see some of these artists, they have like serious workhorse instruments. And mm -hmm. They look cool. They yeah, play I love well. the natural wood finish too. I do too. I like that it's a lot. Like a, boxcar kind of thing like um I don't know what it is like those kids make those little cars and they're yeah I know exactly what you're talking about the way about. it has like the different colors it's like striped almost yeah it feels like the, I like how the um what is that called where the contours are at yeah the, um, I know what you mean uh like the lip yeah you know what they call it no uh, this is my this is talking. my dream. My, this was my dream guitar, actually. I, I got it. A lot. It's very low end. Uh, yeah. Well, like not very low end. I paid three hundred for it, but when it came out, it was like six hundred, six fifty, and I got a deal on it on eBay. I like the inlays because they're unique. You don't see them anywhere else. They're called checkerboard inlays. You mean these? Yeah. I like those a lot. You don't see it's them. Like lightning anything. bolts. It's its own thing, and like it. the wood itself is a sapelli wood, which is a dark wood, similar to That's ebony, beautiful. and it resonates really well. Um, I put some John Petrucci pickups in it, the liquefi the Crunch Lab and Liquifier. I never modified any of my instruments. And it has coil tap ability, so if I coil tap both of these and keep it in the middle, it's supposed to sound like a strap, mm. so no humbug. No Floyd Rose. No Floyd Rose. Intentional. Oh, that, I that would blow the tune. Yeah, yeah I've, I've had Floyd Rose uh, Ibanez before. Um, you don't even have a slot though for a whammy? Nope, I don't want one. I'm a whammy guy. Are you? Oh, yeah. Okay, I could see that. Yeah. Um, I, I find I'm my. A whammy. I find my expression can come from expression pedals. It can come from. I'm more of the yeah. David Gilmore camp. That's it. So, yeah, even though I'm not the biggest Pink Floyd fan. I just, I, I, I liked everything he had to say about, you know, the philosophy of it. Or Alex Lifeson. I'm not totally familiar with that. I do like Lifeson. Pink, Pink Floyd. Like, uh, uh, Lifeson would be Rush. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. I know who they are, but I haven't, I'm not totally familiar, oh, with, familiar with their work. Oh, his philosophy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just what it pertains to, uh -huh. the, uh, like, the instrument and the approach to playing the instrument. Brian May is another great example. Never really was a never really was a flat, uh, a whammy guy. All, All these, these guys, guys are on MTPs. I, I think they may be. D uh, David Gilmore seems like a. Mm, David Gilmore doesn't seem like a man to though. I know Roger Waters is not TJ though. Yeah, and um, Lifeson I don't think is INTP. 
Neil Peart is. Neil Peart is uh, their drummer. Maybe I haven't seen Mike actually talk yet. Funny, dude. I was next. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah, take a platter. Yeah. See how. After this cooking now? Uh, it's not far off. That's my Skype picture. Mm. It's Michael what Jackson. It? It's Michael Jackson holding his baby over the balcony. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Such, a Such a what? Such a weird picture. <laughs> I know. But the choice is awesome. Uh, I, I chose it years ago, and I never change it. And I don't know how to change it, so it's gonna stay that. Oh man, are you waiting for something to load? Uh, my computer it just has sl slow upstart. Oh, I want to make sure that thing, though? it did from what I can, what I gather, I think. I don't know. I don't know for sure. Alright, you can continue pulling out videos and stuff. I just, alright, we're going to change AC overall. I have Fruity Loops on here too, but I never use it. I always thought it was, um, that still makes me laugh. What this? Um, no, this, um my computer i made a folder when will came over to install everything i just titled it will's bullshit and everything music saves into it or what yeah it's funny so i'm being told that there's ice cream sandwiches and italian ice for anyone who wants it interesting i put that down so i'm i think i'm good before All right. starting to see if any open files. maybe later on we can go to sheets and grab something i'm not opposed to that if no. that's what you want to do depends on how long you stay i guess but I'm around for a while. Yeah, I'm a little I'm bit. I'm a, I'm a little bit hazy because I didn't get the best sleep. It's forced. It's asking again. me to restart again. Yeah, I didn't get much sleep at all. I'm I trying to. Why. I'm trying to balance the video thing. Mm -hmm. Cause like around midnight to two in the morning, she is getting up for work. Oh yeah. So I always. So you want to be able to see her off. Yeah, at the very least, because when she, right before she goes to bed, I'm still at work. Like, get off at 5, and that's around 3 in the morning. Yeah. Oh, so this is weird tonight, because she's out that late. Right. But she wasn't partying or anything, so I don't feel too threatened. But on occasion, she will be partying. I think she does a little bit. But not, yeah, like, not better. truly threatened, but, you know, hints of... Yeah. Like, I, don't, I, I trust her well enough as I can but I'm just like I know I'm not there and that little sense of insecurity is something that I had to, I had to be conscious of and, and so yeah I think we had this discussion we did that side of the of is that what it was? Mm -hmm. I think it was at uh it was downtown we were sitting at the table at the time the okay. coffee shop I, I don't know why I thought we, had, we talked about that at Waffle House mm -hmm. no we wouldn't have Huh. Yeah, I need to put these strings. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't care, actually. It's funny because I stopped caring so much about clipping them because I'm not actively playing live. And I've been re replacing these strings. I'll just play them until they go dead and just replace them. So I snap. I don't snap strings. Really? I don't do They never strap. Never, I, I wouldn't say never, but very infrequently do I snap strings. It's probably because I play heavier gauges. Okay, I play synthies, super synthies. I play Ernie Ball uh, Cobalts okay. with a little bit heavier tension. You want like the pink one, the purple one, the super synthies? Mine's are the orange ones, and they're 10 through 50. Mm -hmm. Not super heavy. Because you, you've heard about me, so I've been double banger. Yeah. A plucker in the back there. Plucker, so. definitely, I know. Yeah, but the Bending, I'll only utilize it uh, when doing like a lick. Yeah. Like blues, like. The whammy like and the bending was just a constant for me. That's how I got my. That makes sense. Funk okay. sound. With the, I mean, you would know it if you heard it, what I'm talking about, but I did so did, well. Did you keep um, just like standard gauge strings? Yeah, or like gauge strings? Super sunkies. Super sunkies, yeah, that would be. Uh -huh. Let me see if I can. Do you miss it? Do I miss playing? Yeah. Yeah. So much. I remember when I did um, the, those few specularity sessions just a few years ago, it was just, I just did it until I hurt myself again. Oh, man. Yeah. How much of that stuff were you able to act actively record? 
What do you mean? Um, Speculary. When you did that, did you compose that like compositionally? Oh, I just had a a fun oh, it was two thing. hour improv session. Okay. That was all improv. So it wasn't like the approach that's ended. It was probably more similar to the Mermir. Mer- is that how you pronounce that? I don't know. I think it was the exact same approach that I always took. I just didn't have vocals. I okay. just laid something down real quick and just stacked it. Okay. Without considering what sounded good. It's just the first thing that sounded good that came out. That's the thing. I just I just don't think about it. I try to do it as much like a, a one-shot improv session as I can. And just boom, boom, boom. Move one track after another. I mean, but can't you be discontented with the way something sounds? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, but I... I, I you stick with it? I usually made, like, at least six different songs per day back when I was recording. Okay. So I wasn't at a loss if something was crap. And I'd usually know right away if I wanted to continue working with it or not. And the things that I oh, gave up on just got included in my yeah. long CDs. That's why I really, really love those long ones. Um, because I just... Because it's such a, it offers, even more than my my other stuff, it offers a very detailed look at just the process itself. You can kind of hear me just goofing around and having fun and doing it's things I didn't expect would be heard. very raw. I'm doing this. Calculations. Yeah, so 1,500 would be the amount of songs that you've recorded, and six is, so it would have taken you 250 days, right? Or is that, I mean, 250 days to make all of it I didn't or maybe that's not right, right. no that doesn't sound that couldn't be right um six songs per day oh yeah but a lot of the when I say six songs I probably yeah. have like two usable ones and the other stuff would be just me just fooling around 250 days would equate to like actual active time recording like real time, what 200, was it? 250 days. That's a lot. Straight? Straight. Damn. That's a lot. <laughs> it, it actually doesn't even sound like all of it, you know, because it just felt like an eternity of love. Yeah, I can a, imagine dude, it was that. the funnest experience of my life. It was like a dream that never ended. I've had hours which have felt like lifetimes, and so time is very relative. When recording? Um, or just when, when you're practicing, in love? practicing, or when I'm in love, or... You know, even when I'm at work and I'm waiting for the last hour of the day to go by. Do you feel like when you come, when at nighttime you're, or whenever you're just like, I'm going to go record music, do you have to kind of switch into another self, another mode? Or Very much so. So if, creative if mode is be, not normal for you? If I, if I wanted it to be effective, then yeah, I have to put on the... the the artistic version of me out that's, there. That's what I was curious about because it's strange to me because I don't have another mode other than the creative mode. Everything that I'm doing in every given moment, even right identity. now. Yeah, me, and my, I'm still creating I, right now. My identities are compartmentalized in a sense, so... Well, I don't know if I'd call that an aspect of identity as much as just an a- aspect of driver impulse or, or um, role or focus. Role, yeah. Like I'm always creating. And it's not always art, but it's always creating. It's always going into that one siphon into that one project, though. It's all adding to one giant hole, which is my world, basically. It's interesting. And I do look at life with the same fervor and passion and even Mm -hmm. just creativity that I look at the A track of the canvas. Really? Yeah. And that's what a lot of stuff that I want to convey to people through our, what we come out with the Compachicos just like showing people how to see life that way maybe that's what saves me I think that's what's gonna ultimately like by practicing this I'm gonna end up becoming a lot more productive by practicing Um, what um just I am it's a little bit more conscious that I have to actively work towards it um but that's what I've always wanted yeah to be a musician so I mean it all comes full circle in that sense I don't know I always thought that in order to be a musician I had to work with others who were like minded I had to play a role because I mean solo artists yeah that's that's cool but the band the imagery of the yeah. band I didn't even like think this, of myself so as a solo artist I was just thinking in terms of I'm getting 
shit together over here that I could then go out on stage and play one day with myself or whoever. So this was like preparation in a sense. I was, this was like me drawing on a napkin in a restaurant before I go to practice. And that's what these 70 albums were to me. Before you go to practice? Yeah, it was just like, these weren't supposed to be the final versions. These were just me writing down ideas that would later be performed. And I mean, maybe by a full band. Maybe we'd been... But so I never really saw myself as a solo artist, which is weird. Because I still have a band mentality in my mind. Is it recording? Mm -mm. I, I think the preferences are... Sh oh, so it's the... So this would go program. into here. And is that, that would box go even on? Here. I don't see any light. There's a light right there. Oh, okay. So mixer, monitor mix. I'm going to just blast it. So monitor, the monitor would be stereo. So where's that jack for your... Oh, um, headphone jack? It would be a... For your speakers, if you were to plug it into oh. the aux cord. Is that what you use? You mean this thing right here? Yeah. Try plugging that into there. And it's, um, it. this is as far as this one goes. So. I can actually swing this around because that'll go much further. Is that a good sign? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What is that? Wait, what is that? I know that. What is that? Damn it, I know that. Oh, CKY. Behind the screams. Yep, you got it. Yeah. Nice. I can't believe I got that so quickly though because it's just I haven't heard it in a while. Well. Yeah, so then if I do this. Do 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 do. I'm picturing yeah. the next song coming on. If I plug in. What is the next song? Uh, do, 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 do. The Seed is Striking do, 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 Gold? Do. Yeah, that's it. Is it? Yeah. Interesting. And then after that, it's Triple Man State. Do, 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 do. That song. Yeah, that's, that song. that's one of the highlights. Uh, I really liked. Um, the Seed Striking Gold is really cool. The first two songs on that album are my favorite on Answer Can Be Found. But, I do, but then I like Triple Next Day. Hellions Are Bright? No, that's um, no, that's Carver City. Carver City. The first Oops. two were... Um, I, um, the, the, the Gun To Your Head. Yeah. What is that song? An Answer Can and, Be Found. And She Never Returned. No, that's is Carver. The second, oh, oh, no. Yeah, you're right. The Shit. second one's The Way You Lived. The I, first I, one I is... Skip that one. Really? I think so. That was so good. That's not right, is it? So what is what is um? So like I said, this is a good sign for stuff of this working. Yeah. Because that's right. so that's not coming through here or anything. That's just purely this. And can you manipulate this yeah. out right here? So you can. Uh, this volume up? The, the monitor outputs? Yeah. Instead, we would put the mic through there, and okay. it would just be one mic. I'll find my uh, huge tangled cord. So, what do you want it to? Um, here's the thing. I said before that um, I need to let this down, but it's. Uh, I'm so sorry. Do you mind if I unplug it? Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna. I wanted to see if, because it wasn't taking... Oh, you want to record it? Not p record, but it wasn't taking my tone for some reason. So, like... Oh, like this wasn't having an effect on what the guitar... Okay. Right, and I'm trying to figure out why that is. It's not going through this at all. Um, it is through the USB. Which one? So that's what's... You sure? The USB is what's powering this. So if you take... Oh! That? Yeah. So if you remove that... And that was plugged in. 
All clean tones, HD audio, and well, like this curl accents on the edge. Oh yeah, nice. it's like mother of pearl. Yeah. Good sharp. I don't know why it's not. Do you have it like turned off? Like you need to hit a button that activates it all. It's probably something dumb like that. Yeah. Or that's how it was always in like Rudy Loops. References ACO for all. Maybe direct like right there. Kernel, like maybe? see how it's not on, or whatever. That's it. So this oh, it worked. Be, yeah, it was just a. Set. Yeah, turn it, turn it down. Yeah. Just a little bit. We should do our whole podcast with echoing. I mean, we could get our voices to these same filters, right? Obviously distorted. Ones Those are all presets. Too. Yeah, these are presets on here. Boosted solo metal is gonna sound. That's weird. The, the low one doesn't sound. So that means I gotta do stereo. It's supposed to be based off of Black Hole Sun by. Yeah, it's on guard, yeah. But yeah, I then you can. I could hear Fashante in that too. Yeah, so you can actually tweak all this stuff. So, like, nice. if I want to lose gain or, you know, all of it. It's all, you know, easy to mess around with. So, nice. this is my main rig, my main. If I'm not playing through like actual analog stuff, so oh, I just wanted to see good. if this thing worked. Okay, I'm good to go. All right, and it totally works. And it sounds pretty good through the, your your speakers. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Oh, God, yeah, that that did sound really pretty. Yeah, that just, first one especially. I just, that's one of my favorite to just like zone in and improv. Improv, yeah. yeah. Right. Delay. But in terms of recording, stuff. I'd never record with those. Yeah. Really? No, I mean, I'll, I'll you play. You would never or have I never? just don't ever. I I haven't. I would like to. But I always think the tone could be different. I could yeah. do something. Is just the mere fact that those are presets set you off a little bit? Just like, yeah, because if everyone could access this, and it's not <coughs> my identity. But the thing is, like, how many people are using guitar rig? But that is a big thing. Yeah, yeah. no, I feel that same way. Because it's like, it's not me if everyone can just access it right out of the factory. So presets are a big thing for me. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> but I, I will do things like I'll change up all the settings. It might be the same presets, like the same chain, mm -hmm. the same chain of things, but I'll have to tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak. Yeah. So yeah, this this goes on for a while. But yeah, I just wanted to see if that works. And actually, I learned something real quick <coughs> because normally I will, the input won't choose between mono left and right. It'll just be always stereo. Okay, so you learned how to switch yeah, so now I know how to operate stereo. I just have to go in here and manually do it, um, which is good to know because that interface is different than my other interface. Um, yeah, that's cool. So yeah. that means I can bring my computer anytime. All we yeah. need is a mic cable. I don't know if you ever found it. I do have it in the other room. I don't know where I'd have to ask my father. Okay. It's a very long cable, though, so it's... Had I known I would have brought one over. Oh, you have some of your own? I have one. I think it's damaged, though, so I need to get another Mine one. is huge. Yeah, just, a just a big knot ball. Yeah. Mm. So it might be better for you to bring one if it's not totally fried. Oh damn it! I just remembered. Um, 
was that? Uh, some guy was including my song in one of his radio programs tonight. tonight? It was like it was like four Dude. days ago. I totally forgot. <laughs> it happened four days ago? Yeah, I think so, and I haven't gotten Are back to sure? that. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. I, I just like blanked out when I think like a few minutes ago. I just I it just dawned them. on you because something you said. Will you reach out to him? Yeah. Uh, well, we, I gave him we, permission to use it. Could we stream it? That oh, it's probably show? online. He, yeah, I think it's more like Was a podcast live? thing. Let's check it out. Um, yeah, is it about I'll, you or is it just he? Like, oh no, I just it? I've had this happen several times. I've been to several radio stations like <laughs> like yeah. in Europe and stuff, like real ones too, not just like personal podcasts. Like real stations will put my music in. That's amazing. Yeah, it's cool. Like, but after it happens a few times, you kind of stop getting the boner. Really? Think so? Or well, I don't know. So? I think that's just my overall. I think I got really cynical really quick when it came to putting my stuff out in public because why? The people that I wanted to hear it weren't responding, and then the people that were taking to it were like all like avant-garde, goofy music fans. So I started feeling like that's what it was. Yeah. I just started feeling like okay, even the people that like my music are not my people, and and I started getting really cynical about the audience that I was attracting, and I just stopped. At first, every time someone would download it or order something from me, I'd kind of be like, "Hey, how are you? What's your name? You know?" Yeah, I wanted to like hold hands with the fans. Right. But after a little while, you realize that that's just not practical. It's not even smart. Really? Yeah. It sounds so nice from when you're starting out. Like that's a nice ambition. But after a while, it. it it reduces your status in their eyes, first of all, probably. Um, and second of all, it's just there's so many people and it kind of, it becomes awkward. You, you, there's, Interesting. It's like maybe we aren't supposed to know who our fans are. I mean, Especially it's different if you do it for your own experience. It's not like you, you, know, do you have the fans in mind when you go to record. No, no way. I had me in mind, so I'm just hoping that everyone that likes it is like me. Too. Or is like you. Yeah, movies. and I think that's what's disappointing. Finding out, like, oh, I just, I, I really like your stuff, and that's about it. You know, I'm like, but don't you have my history of mental illness? <laughs> right, that's what you're kind <laughs> no, of. Hoping. Actually, some people, I did get that from some people. I received a bit of letters the first, like, I was well, accepting I, letters the first year, and I then, think I lost it. What? I lost it for good. What do you mean? The little sin thing. I can recreate it. Oh no. I can recreate it. How'd you lose it? When I went to restart my computer. I think it's gone. Damn, is it Audacity? Mm -hmm. Okay, because I know Audacity Reaper. does that sometimes because the, the catch gets Yeah, empty. Reaper has a catch too. Damn it. Yeah, it's all good. I can recreate it in no time. I so you do exactly, remember? Huh? I know exactly what chords I played, yeah. Okay. But, and I played it over and over again. Okay. Actually, uh, I messed around with different metronome timings mm. to make sure that it sounded different uh, or it sounded closest to what I'd envision. I just want to see that this might actually work now. Oh, um, videos? All right, the real difference oh, it is? FB and FI. What was the no, cost? So I just had to RC. restart my computer. Here's all it is, ready? It's just about what you like. So, so, mine is organized, but I'd rather uh, instead of organized, I'd use the word control. Okay. I need to n understand how things work, know what's coming around the next corner, know what to expect. I need everything, no chaos, just order, just something predictable. Something. Yeah, things are chaotic. Yeah. Yeah. You panic. Yeah. Not well. Internally, I if something that I didn't expect happens, I lose my shit. When I said I was coming over and I was nearby and it still took me a little bit. Yeah. I actually, I was trying to come here without GPS. Really? Try to memorize and I uh, got lost. Mm. I ended up going on these buildings. I figured. Long. So, but I was so busy driving, putting all my energy into driving that I wasn't paying attention to my phone. Mm. Eventually it came to the point where I was like, I'm in the middle of farmland. Necessity. I was curious about so what I, took you so long. When I home. mapped it back, it said it was nine minutes out. But I had just responded to you and said that I was close. Yeah. And it was, was only like, about 20 minutes since you said that. So. Yeah, but it's still, I was wondering if 
you were thinking like yeah um all day even just like even after you said i'm on my way there's yeah. still that Level, yeah. is there gonna be is three hours gonna go by of me sitting in this chair there's yeah. i actually saved some songs or videos that I, I really wanted to hear just so I could watch them in that time frame and not be thinking about just like <laughs> stupid paranoid thoughts. Yeah. No, I definitely want to do that. I mean especially also just years ago. Because yeah. we tried to schedule plans several times and Yeah. You also have to remember that this is kind of all I know. Like the way that you've kind of you know, in the past, that kind of stuff. That's yeah. that's what I've gotten from most people. A lot of people. Um, I've known almost no J's in my life, and that's usually almost exclusively P's, and then we tell that are like that because they consider it more. Well, so, so, I mean, that's the highest thing, but not just that because they consider deadlines to be more negotiable. They're not as punctual. It's true. Yeah. You know, very very. It's weird. Not punctual. I arrive well. 15 minutes early to all events. You know. I tried, and then, like, all this week I did, and then today, today I ended up waking up late because I was just tired. Oh, damn. I woke up around 7. I would freak out. I woke up around 7, and I was like, alright, well, I don't have to be there until 8.30. I'm going to shower. I finished showering at, like, 7.30. I was like, I didn't even pick out what to wear today. Mm -hmm. So it says I spent way too long doing that, and then getting all my stuff out of my house into the car took... Like, not even five minutes. But right. I had to run in and grab everything. I was like, did I grab everything? Did I get everything? I was like, if I didn't, then I'll figure it out. And I went to work. And by the time I clocked in, it was like 29, 8 29 to be there at 8 30. Oh, man. Com comparatively to the rest of the week where I was like 10 minutes early. 10 minutes early, 15 minutes early. Yeah, 30 it. minutes early. <laughs> yeah, I made it, but I, I do have the history of. Punctuality very, very well, I think the way that I'm, the reason I'm the way I am so strict, I mean, I always have the tendency, but my experiences with others have definitely made me even more, more it's yeah. become uh, a conviction at well, this point to me because I know how it feels to, uh, like, so I'm now the type of person in my house is burning down, but I had plans, I'd, I'd still be like, sorry, we can't hang out, my house is on fire. You know, I'd still like take yeah, the time take to time write that. To it sounds funny, but I, I, I guarantee you, I would. That's Just because I know how it is, and I also don't want to be associated with people being disappointed. Like I don't want, you that. Don't want that. It's really an image thing too. I want the associations yeah. that people have with me being well, not that. Yeah. Well, I mean, also as a psychologist and counselor, I like to be um, relied upon. Yeah. So are Jays mostly? Like order, psychologists. They care about order and oh, um. Does that vary? Oh, that that varies. Okay. It depends. I mean, then, but a lot of these are life coaches. Okay. So I mean, there's different. Different approaches. Different approaches. Yeah, but you get them all across the board, just like teachers, and uh, right. pastors and whatever. Okay, I don't know if they dominated that or. Had a Some do, but I wouldn't say dominate. I think it does. There are more freckles in one area, but yeah, yeah. Huh. So I said before that we're more set up for a podcast at the moment, but the fact is that really depends on our brand identity, our image. I mean, we right. we have kind of. I mean, even look at the Tim and Levy stuff. I have a very DIY. Not like a punk DIY, but just like a a basement creeper. Yeah, kind that's of. pretty much. Yeah. Like almost like a horror yeah. movie kind of like Blair Witch thing going on. Yeah. That's, so. That's yeah. Exactly <laughs> what you're describing right there. It, it, but that's that's become my identity. So I can get away with really low budget stuff as long as it's tastefully low. Like like I said, Blair Witch. Some something that's a little bit creepy, like. And not know, just cheap, but you just... You that quality for me is a big deal. Yeah, so I guess you wouldn't be into that kind of... I would and I wouldn't. Like, what we if have... If it was artistically cheap. What we have right now, I mean, is that too high quality? Oh, well, I was, so, I was actually saying this because I'm not sure if what we have is high enough for you. No, it's perfect for me. What, oh, are you speaking about podcasts or videos? For podcasts, for I'm videos. I'm speaking of videos. 
Okay. I'm saying we... Oh, like like if I just hit the record button on my camera. Yeah, I'm saying depending on our image that we want to portray or present um, to the public, we still could have enough for videos. If we wanted to have some kind of artistically cheap look like that, right. like shaky and creepy. Right. With Is lots of pixelation and just so spooky. Then I wonder, like, accessibility... Like the commercial a aspect versus artsy and RC, yeah. unique, mm -hmm. and I mean I think you still can get artsy and unique with a higher end equipment, um, but cool. a different kind. Accessibility. To but it's also about consistency. Like, are we gonna start with something that looks cheesy and weird, but then progressive? But then people time. know when we can afford a camera because that's when we pull it out. <laughs> yeah, you see that. You mm -hmm. see inconsistencies like that, I see that. But does that really matter? I don't think it does, but it can. We could also find a way to incorporate it that inconsistency into our plot. It does matter to the fan base, though. I know, I realize that, like, oversights, when creators yeah. do something and there's an oversight, fan base will um, meticulize on a lot of other It's not the same as a, a cartoon or something, saying, so, though, where you yeah. all of a sudden the character's being drawn by a different artist. It's not like that. Mm -hmm. or So it's not likely to annoy because we're just people and people know that we're just people and it's not weird on YouTube to go yay I got new equipment yeah no one's actually gonna it's like, commonplace on unlike <laughs> yeah, unsubscribe yeah and I mean yeah, I think yeah. even on our Patreon we can be just open about like help you know your um, your subscriptions allow us to afford new equipment for so us. does Dave superpowers does he have a Patreon no he uses he his site website. yeah who are people who have... That's what I need to know. Patreon? Yeah, Patreon. Oh, that yeah. makes sense, though. They're like one of the highest people there. And they have Patreon. I'm surprised yeah. they don't have a, a course associated... Or a website associated. Uh, there's, uh, there's a website, probably, but I mean... Yeah. That's not the main thing like this is. Whereas, I mean, it's another thing like Bandcamp. It's, it's like... I have my own website, but Bandcamp players and just the convenience of all that on one page, it's just like I still use Bandcamp even though I have several websites just because it's so, I right. love the way it's laid out. So there's nothing wrong with using Patreon in lieu of having your own course because I think it's just, okay. it's also comfortable for others that. not having to familiarize with a new thing. The only thing I know about Patreon is the monetization. What about it? That that's what it is. Have it's you? Like, oh, you've not seen the intro videos to it at all. To the to Patreon. Yeah. No. I okay. Don't. Well, get excited. Here we go. This is yeah. This is what I want to tap into. I was like, to me, it, this it to was always akin to like Kickstarter or GoFundMe or. what brought us to see things in this way. Um, I feel bad. I feel like I trashed your room. Oh, no. All Where? the way around. No way. Like, all the way around. I, I left, like... Salsa on the pillow? Salsa on the pillow. I have shit on the floor. You, you shit on my floor? Yeah. yeah <laughs> oh, no, no. This, this is totally fine. There's it's still a, cleaner than it usually is. There's random... I think that's sending. Oh, that's turmeric. That's turmeric. That's, you didn't do that. No. Yeah. But I saw the water bottle there. Yeah. Man, I'm gonna Oh no. That is exciting. And yeah. I know that's how it operates. It's not dissimilar from GoFundMe or Kickstarter. Um, uh, but it is. It is in a sense. Um, I guess take a look at some of these uh, an example page. I
out for uh, my tenant stuff. But yeah, it's just it's like a it's practically like a Facebook. You just have your wall and you have your private member section. Um, that's pretty great. Yeah, you can click on posts and um, yeah, you have an introduction video that you stick right on top. This is another thing altogether. I will watch this later. Oh, on the, the bottom, the mystery Corbin, uh minor major seventh. Oh, music is it a theory, new uh, song or something? It's just songwriting, uh, music theory. Oh, is so this like something you're subscribed to? Uh, yeah. Okay. But I, I subscribe to things without having to be a Patreon. I don't feel like I'm missing out. Yeah. So I wonder how do you really make this something to be sold? Because other people. Oh, I, I mean, I've, some of the ideas I've shared for you. Just I, I know psychology, so I know I make people feel like that they require the affirmation of supporting us. And that's what it's all about. It's like any any creative individual would support us, you know, just something like that. And then they, that's me, you know, yeah. something where, but it, it's not just a psychological game. I want to give these people something in return, even if that means like outtakes and bloopers. Yeah. Oh yes, we'll do stuff like that. I mean, but maybe that not seems bloopers. Like, that but seems like that's what. I see on most of these Patreons, like yeah. early access. Maybe not bloopers, but things just like extras and um, early access. I even um, like even like calls with us or something, or just like a, I was thinking, just doing like counseling services for extra fees and yeah. stuff. Um, and I had a lot of cool ideas, just like exclusive merchandise. And I guess it really depends on where we head as a. Do you know much about viral marketing? I'm not sure about that name, but once you, if you explain it to me, it's probably something like or ARGs, ARGs. Alternate, alternate reality games. Is this like a meme, meme advertising, like advertising through memes? Mm, yeah. This isn't necessarily. Actually, I don't know if that being the concept. Okay. Um, this is a specific thing. I know about guerrilla marketing. Um, Gorilla. Viral marketing is method of marketing whereby uh, consumers are encouraged to share information about companies, goods, or services via the internet. Uh, Just like getting some past them along. It's a little bit more lucrative. Uh, Sounds so vague. Yeah, it's a little bit vague. What I was thinking, actually, more specifically, was the ARG thing. Like a real uh, virus yeah. in the pile that you might have. <laughs> ARG, Ultimate Reality Games, and how these operate are, I remember this being a thing for interactive network narrative that uses real world as a platform and employs transmedia storytelling to deliver a story that may be altered by players, ideas, or actions. Oh. Is this like that kind of stuff where there's like these, like I've seen news stories before where they didn't know that a product was being advertised, but there was like this all these mysteries about who is this person and there right. is it like that where you get this interaction with people and they think that something different's going on than what it is that but could be an element of it this is more um yeah so like for halo 2 no it's funny i heard they i sent you a link to the music Incubus, from it yeah. but um i love bees was a website it was just called i love bees and on the website <laughs> Uh, can you just get the hell off my thing? I don't even know why that thing is still there. But it was a website, and the website was about beekeeping. It was literally a website about beekeeping. Mm -hmm. But if you go through the files, you can. there were audio clips. And the audio clips told a story about this alien invasion, which fed into the lore of the Halo universe. Dude, this is the exact <laughs> sort of thing that I try to think up of. Yeah. Like as as far as advertising and marketing, this sounds like a subset of uh, guerrilla marketing. Yeah, it is okay because yeah. that's what I had been writing down. Like I have different texts. Uh, real world experience and viral marketing campaign for the release. So the game is guerrilla advertising. Mm -mm, doesn't use that terminology. But you're familiar with that created. idea. Yeah, like um, I'm the kind of I would love to go do something like post, like have you seen this person kind of stuff around town stuff that and have people call it and then it's weird stuff like that that's not just straight up advertising but it's very right. strange it's and very it's real, strange yeah. it's almost like that uh, Fangella stuff mm -hmm. but 
So as player solve puzzles, audio logs were posted on the ilovebees.com website, which gradually revealed more about the fictional backstory involving the marooned artificial <coughs> intelligence called the Beast, shown on Earth, and its attempt to put itself back together. Uh, 250,000 people viewed I Love Bees websites when it was launched, just trying to figure it out, and more than 500,000 returns to the huh. site every time the page was updated. Or the pages were this updated. is why I bought so many domains a few years ago to do one weird crap like this. I bought lynchburgpolice.com and I was going to have the hell out of here. Do you still have that I one? I think that one, I think I gave that one up because I wasn't oh going to do anything with it. God. But I was going to hang up things about like wanted signs with my face on it and say contact Lynchburg Police. And yeah, I totally bought that. That would have been incredible. That, I think that could have almost been um I wonder if that's been bought up. I'm, I'm kind of wondering if. Uh, no. Crap! It's I so think good. no. I think no. I think it's been bought up by a. Uh, a lot of times, when you have a website, and then it, you drop it, it gains the attention of um, domainers who think it's worth something. So they'll jump oh, yeah. on it right as That's soon. That's what as you were doing, it. though, right? Yeah. So I made it look like it was worth something. So someone probably pounced on it. But did you do anything graphically on it? No. no. I had pictures though. Um that I was going to hang up of wanted of me and this was like building up to this whole thing like I killed Jerry Falwell um, it was going to be some weird thing it would be on your tenant page yeah did ever you uploaded it or you would you have to log in to get I'm talking it? about just like an image that I had of me like uh, like this one right here how did you get that Oh, you made that? Mm hmm. Even with the federal. Yeah, I made that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Even the photo looks like it could have been something taken. Yeah, it looks weird. like Crime Times. Yeah. Are you familiar with that? No. Crime Times is a newspaper that they have at, at newsstands, uh, 7 Elevens, Quickie Marts, and basically both of them, it's, it looks like a yearbook. It's just all right. mug shots. Uh, people who have been Weird. arrested in the last week or so. It's strange to go through. Pictures of the doctors who I hated. Is that an actual doctor? Yeah. You know, like local doctor? An ENT, yeah. Oh, I, I love that picture. It's creepy. It's creepy. It was Godzilla. <laughs> yeah, I had my Godzilla hand puppet on, too. Oh. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. You remember I've the seen, hand I've puppet? I've seen that hand puppet oh. um, when it was in retail. It's a wild looking. <laughs> That's creepy. creepy. Are those your eyes? Yeah, those are my eyes, but I might have I modified it somewhat to make it look. Well, no, I think I must have. I don't know. That's crazy looking. Uh, those are the honeycombs that you splatter with blood. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do much with this. Uh, oh, I was creating this perfume for a while. Foul brood. <laughs> That's a bee disease. A homicidal permit. It actually yeah. is. Um, it's like um, when the honey starts to like putrefy or it's like infected or something.